Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Jack. Thanks for joining me on this video. I want to wish all of you a happy holidays and hope that you get to spend some quality, safe time with your family and loved ones. In this video, we will be comparing and contrasting the differences between CBD oil and hemp oil. It's a question that I get asked uh, quite often when people are looking to take CBD for health and wellness reasons. So I figured it was worth doing a video on. So join me and let's get into it. Thank you for joining me on this video. This channel is all about spreading knowledge to help you live a healthier, happier, and wiser life. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I started out educating about the cannabis plant, specifically about CBD or otherwise known as cannabidiol. I started doing this because when the farm bill was redone in 2018, CBD made from hemp with THC less than 0.3% became legal. It has no euphoric effects at this amount of THC and has been shown to have countless health and wellness benefits. So naturally, everyone and their mother started taking it and I started seeing a lot of my patients on CBD and they were asking me all sorts of questions I could not answer. Patients were taking it for various types of ailments and a lot of them were seeing some type of effects. So I took some time off and did a deep dive on the matter and down the rabbit hole I went. I was blown away by the amount of information out there. The amount of research conducted by folks like Dr. Raphael Mashulam was purely astonishing. It was definitely one of those circumstances where I had all these preconceived notions about the cannabis plant and I didn't know what I didn't know. Like many of you, I was raised where I was told that it was a devil's plant and how it is a gateway drug to other more powerful illegal drugs and so on. However, like many things these days, the data and actual research show something completely the opposite. So I think it's really important that we always go through life being able to change our perspective, our opinions, and our attitude towards particular topics at any particular moment in time. I think it's really important not to fall into the trap of having confirmation bias all the time and not being open to educating yourself or to other people's opinions about any particular topic. CBD and many other cannabinoids in the cannabis plant are quite safe and has profound implications on how it affects our body's own cannabis system called the endocannabinoid system. Our body even makes its own cannabis molecules, if you can believe that, specifically called ananamide and 2-AG. Along with CBD, we are starting to see other cannabinoids hit the market as well. Things like CBG, CBN, and various other cannabinoids. By the way, make sure you're subscribed as I plan on doing a video about these other cannabinoids and how they differ from CBD. And while you're at it, please don't forget to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. I've done countless videos on the intricacies of this amazing plant called cannabis and specifically focusing on CBD. I feel like I have covered the topic pretty well in regards to the most commonly asked questions and even the shady history of how cannabis became illegal. I have covered the most pressing topics from what you can expect when starting to take CBD, how CBD works, why it works, what it helps, how to take it through the different routes, whether orally, sublingually versus inhaling. However, the most important thing, in my opinion, is knowing what makes a high quality, safe CBD product. If you end up purchasing one that is not lab tested, has dangerous things in it like bacteria, mold, fungus, pesticides, heavy metals, or other chemicals, or one that doesn't even have what the bottle says should be in it, then you're immediately starting off on the wrong track. So make sure you do your research before spending your hard earned money on CBD. When it comes to CBD, you truly get what you pay for. It's for this reason that I felt this video was important to do. Due to the lack of regulation, you are really trusting the company to do what's right. Not all CBD is created equal and not all hemp is CBD. And while CBD is somewhat new to the market, Hemp seed oil has been around for decades. It has been sold mainly for cooking and skincare products. However, with this flood of cannabinoid products, some companies have been using the words of CBD oil and hemp oil or hemp seed oil interchangeably. Some companies capitalize on this confusion either intentionally or by accident. However, the two products have very distinct differences in what you are purchasing. You'll find savvy marketing practices for hemp seed oil by simply putting pictures of the cannabis leaf and putting the word cannabis on their hemp seed oil. They may even put the word CBD on it, all of it making it very confusing for the consumer. 
It goes the other way too, as some companies market their CBD oil as hemp oil to try and avoid FDA regulations on cannabis and or derived marijuana products. So you can see why the general public can be confused by all of this nomenclature. You may also see the term hemp flower extract and that is real CBD oil as well. It would typically be followed by words like full spectrum, broad spectrum, or isolate on the bottle. If you need to learn more about what these words mean, then I suggest checking out my video on this topic that I did before. Cannabis in general has medicinal and therapeutic properties and has been shown to help with various ailments, including chronic pain and mental health. The stalks of the hemp plant has tens of thousands of usages to making things like clothing, paper, fuel, rope, and much more. Lately, it is even being used in things like 3D printing filaments and for building homes as well. The biggest difference between CBD versus hemp oil is that hemp oil has little to no CBD in it. However, this is not to say that it does not have health benefits. Hemp oil is made by processing hemp seeds into a culinary oil that is rich in nutrients, fatty acids, and other compounds like vitamin B and D. And all of us can use some extra vitamin D in modern day living since many of us are indoors the majority of the day. It's typically added to all sorts of food products due to their high nutritional content. It has much more omega fatty acids than say olive oil. It has a good balance of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. If you've watched any of my nutritional videos, you know that the balance of omega-3 to 6 is very important for inflammation in our body as a typical Western diet is way too heavy on omega-6. So consider taking an omega-3 supplement. Some folks suggest that hemp seed oils are good for cardiovascular health due to improvement in cholesterol levels. However, if you watched my last video, you know that cholesterol levels largely have a very low likelihood of being the main cause of a heart disease, especially since 75% of heart attacks are in people with normal cholesterol levels. CBD is made by extracting, typically through CO2 extraction, from the cannabis plant's leaves, flowers, and stalk. It also has a ton of antioxidant effects. It interacts with your body's own cannabinoid system, leading to all sorts of health and wellness benefits. A high quality product will also have other phytonutrients or plant nutrients in the CBD oil like terpenes, flavonoids, and the nutrients mentioned within hemp oil. So how does one figure out what they are purchasing? You start by looking at the ingredient list on the bottle. If it is hemp seed oil, it will be listed as cannabis sativa seed oil. If it is CBD oil, it will be listed as cannabidiol and may have the words full spectrum, broad spectrum, or isolate listed on the bottle as well. It may also say things like hemp extract on the bottle also. So which is better for you? While hemp oil has health benefits due to its nutritional content, it is no substitution for a truly safe, high quality CBD oil. So in conclusion, hemp oil is nutrient dense, however, it is not CBD oil and does not target your body's own cannabinoid system the same way and ultimately provide homeostasis or balance within every major system within your body. It does not contain the same nutrients within a high quality CBD product. So I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, if it was, please hit the like button and be sure to share this video with others that may find it beneficial. Till next time, I wish all of you a happy holidays. Take care, stay safe. Bye-bye, Pura Vida.